so I'm leaving from the clinical site. Um, you know, after we finish with our clinicals day, our professor would normally have a debriefing. Um, I'm driving, so I won't be looking at the camera. But she normally has like a little debriefing. And so we were talking about, you know, our exams and stuff. And she was trying to give us some kind words, motivational words, and all that type of stuff to help us keep going. Um, and so like while sitting there, you know, we were all giving our own little feedback and stuff. But I had something that popped into my head that I really started thinking about, which has kind of become, um, I guess, like a... I don't know what the right word is because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have the right word to say it, but it's become like a, a motivation or driving force in my life or a way of life. I think that may be what, how you would kind of classify it. Um, but little story time. So basically, one day a few years ago, I was at the gym. Okay. It was leg day. I had been there for a while. I, had, I hadn't even made it to cardio yet, which whatever, but I was doing my leg weights. And I was on my last workout. And my last workout was box jumps. And I was doing the uh, box jump burpees, which is what I decided to do, which is that's when you jump on the box, come down into a burpee, get back up, box jump again. Okay, so I'm doing that and I'm like exhausted. Like if you've ever worked out and if you lift weights and if you do like a leg workout, you know how strenuous like that that freaking is. So, um, I'm tired, but I'm like, I got to finish my workout. I got to finish my workout. Um, and it's this bodybuilder that he had, C.T. Fletcher. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all probably, well, I don't know, but you might know who he is. Um, but he has this phrase or this quote where he always say, it's still your MF and sit. And so with working out, like that was like something big, like that me and the people I worked out with, we like we always like, it's still your MF and said, you gotta finish, blah, blah, blah. So in my head, I'm like, I'm tired, but it's still my set. So I'm going and I'm literally on my last set of box jump burpees. I do two and on that third one, boom, hit the box course I had on shorts like why would I have on shorts during box jumps but whatever um hit the box scrape my leg I still have the scar I might insert a picture but I still have the scar on my leg like you can literally see like the skin hanging on the box because it was one of those metal boxes not one of the new like soft cushy boxes they have now it was the old school metal box so I'm bleeding bleeding everywhere whatever and so like the guy who works behind the desk at the gym, he he saw me hit the box. And so I guess he thought I was gonna cry. I don't know what he expected. <laughs> but so like I walk over and I'm like, you know, ask him if they got a first aid kit so I can get some stuff out of there. So he, you know, he looks like he's in full on panic mode about to pass out from some blood, but whatever. So I clean my, go to the restroom, clean myself up and I come back and I finish my workout. And so he's like, you can, I can see him. He's like looking like confused. And so like after I finished, I was getting my stuff together so I can go sit in the sauna. And so he was like, you know, man, like you're bleeding and you still finish your workout. Like I thought you was about to go home. I thought you was going to quit. Like if that was me, I would have just stopped. And so I just looked at him and I was like, it was still my set. I don't finish until my workout is done. Like, it doesn't matter if you are crying, bleeding, tired. I finish what I started. And so he was like, man, like, you're pretty badass. And I was like, oh, thank you, whatever. <laughs> um, but it was like, that is something that become, has, like, rolled over into other parts of my life where I feel like, you don't quit or you don't stop just because you're tired. You don't stop just because you're crying. You don't always stop just because you're bleeding. If it's something that you really want, if it's a goal of yours, if it's a hustle of yours, you finish your MF and set. Like it's still your set. You finish it. That's all it is to it. It's like, 
it's something that's really, really becoming a part of my life right now with me being in nursing school because I'm tired all the time. I'm tired right now. I'm tired all the time. I've cried more than I care to, honestly, already. Um, I haven't bled yet, but you know, so it's like, Am I gonna just quit cause I'm crying? Am I gonna just quit cause I'm tired? No, it's still my set. Like I have to finish this. And I feel like that's something that even if you're not a, you know, a gym junkie or gym head, you can still take that into like consideration. You can still finish whatever you're starting. Like take that into your everyday life. Like finish your set, finish what you start. If it's a goal of yours, finish it, work for it, work hard for it. You can do it, I'm telling you. Like we are warriors. Like you can do anything you wanna do. You just have to like not let a few tears and not let a few hours of missed sleep get in your way. That's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day! <laughs>